My name is Jordan Day. Uh, I'm based in Washington, D.C. in the United States. Uh, I am the CEO and president of Grain Pro Incorporated. Grain Pro is a mission-driven company uh, that's focused on social and environmental impact. We want to make sure that we lead a better planet uh, and healthier communities because of our work. So we are entirely driven by our mission, by a strong sense of purpose uh, and a sustainable ethos around, uh, around how we work. Uh, so Grain Pro uh, sees itself as a social impact innovator. Uh, and we, as a team, are committed to the mission of reducing hunger and poverty globally. Uh, with WFP, we were delivering uh, emergency food aid, uh, but also trying to support farmers to grow their own crops. And what we would see and what I would see often uh, in the field is very modest farmers who would have worked two or three or four months on their maize or their rice harvest. Um, and then after drying it uh, and storing it, they would leave it either uh, in the front of their, of their small home or in a bedroom. Uh, and then it would get attacked by, by insects or by mold or by rats. Uh, and they would lose a large portion of that. So um, before I came to Grain Pro, I was always looking for what are the best ways for these, these, these small farmers, these modest farmers to safely store their grain. Uh, and hermetic technology is just an extraordinary uh, and appropriate technology uh, for small farmers uh, to protect uh, the harvest that they have. Yes, yeah, so I've seen uh, farmers just use uh, traditional um, uh, bricks and mortar for storage, uh, traditional warehouses, um, uh, even, even metal silos. Uh, and what we see and what I've saw with, with those storage uh, technologies is really that it allows moisture in, uh, it allows oxygen in, and therefore that means insects and mold develop, uh, and that attacks the quality uh, and the quantity uh, of, the, of the grain that the farmer has. Uh, so traditional uh, methods of storage um, certainly have an effectiveness, uh, and they can be locally available, or they can be less expensive, uh, but it's not leveraging the technology that we have today to really support the farmer to, uh, to protect the food security uh, and livelihoods of their own families. Uh, well, first, hermetic storage uh, stops infestation. Uh, it stops infestation because it's an airtight environment uh, that eliminates uh, the entry of oxygen. So insects can't breathe and therefore uh, they die. Uh, no insects uh, means uh, no or limited food loss. Uh, second, hermetic storage stops the entry of water or moisture uh, into the grain. No moisture means no mold and no food loss or, or lower food loss. Um, all of this, when taken together, uh, leads to a greater amount of food uh, for the farmer and for, the, for his or her family, uh, and therefore better food security. Uh, another aspect I think that's really important about hermetic storage is that while farmers often have um, an ample harvest right at right uh, after the harvest ends. Uh, what happens is as they consume that over four or five months after, after the end of harvest, um, they no longer have the food that they need to eat. They enter into a lean season. And hermetic storage just means that they're not gonna have the quantity or the quality loss over that time. And it allows them to store grain through that lean season uh, so that they can have uh, enough to eat uh, for themselves and their family. Uh, and this is really an important sort of bridge for those farmers uh, until they can plant the next harvest. Yeah, so we know that um, the return on investment in hermetic storage uh, is significant. Uh, a farmer uh, is not only not losing both the quantity and quality of their grain, but they're also not having to invest in chemical insecticides to protect that grain. So they have lower cost up front, and then they have a higher market return on the backside because they have a higher quality grain. They have a market into which they can sell. Um, and it's a healthier grain for, the, for themselves and their family to eat as well. Uh, so we calculate that within three years, you can get a return on your investment, whether it's a small hermetic bag or a larger cocoon. And if you work with farmer organizations or farmer co-ops and you can aggregate grain, uh, whether it's in a 10 or 20 or 50 metric ton cocoon, that allows for an economy of scale that even increases that ROI more significantly. Well, hermetic technology uh, is critical for smallholder farmers uh, just because it eliminates those losses that lead to hunger. 
right? And it not only eliminates the losses that lead to hunger, it eliminates the need for chemicals to protect the grain. And it's those chemicals that not only leave a residue on the grain uh, and, a, and a bad taste on the grain, but also can lead to sickness and even death for family members if they accidentally ingest uh, the insecticide or animals access it. Uh, so we just don't want uh, in our communities to have toxic chemicals uh, that are used for, you know, quote unquote, protecting food. Uh, we have a much better approach, a much better technology, which is hermetic or airtight. And that's a natural organic way to safely protect food and lead to healthier uh, uh, nutritional outcomes uh, for, for farmers and their families. It's just a better way uh, to, to store, safely store food. And we no longer need to use to the degree that we are with farmers all over the world, 750 million small farmers around the world using these toxic, toxic chemicals to, um, uh, to keep insects away. We can do it naturally through an airtight hermetic environment uh, that just kills insects through asphyxiation. The farmers that I've met in the field and, and most of whom have been women, um, love the fact that they can store their grain without having to use a chemical. That they always speak to the fact that when they open this hermetic environment where they've got their beans or their rice or their wheat or their corn or their lentils, um, one, it, the smell is wonderful. It smells like, um, like the grain or the, or the legume that it is. Um, the aroma, the color, it pops. Uh, and so women, mothers, families, love the quality of the grain that they're getting uh, after keeping it in storage because they haven't had to sprinkle that that insecticidal dust on it they haven't had to add that chemical to kill the insects uh, and they just have a healthier grain and and mothers i think all over the world are the same they want the best for their kids and they want the best for their family and that's what they're getting with a with an airtight or hermetic environment they're getting high quality healthy safe food for their families um, without the risk or threat uh, of, of a toxic chemical. The healthiest and safest food in the world is being stored in hermetic environments, whether it's organic uh, grains uh, or spices in India or high value coffees uh, in Latin America. Uh, hermetic storage is protecting the commodity, it's protecting the food and it's leading to much better outcomes, not only for the farmer, but for the consumer. And so is it a new technology? Uh, yes and no, right? It's a technology, technology that's been around for millennia, uh, but we have a way now to make it accessible for farmers um, and it works effectively and it's simple. Uh, and the bottom line is uh, it gives families and farmers, it's a much healthier uh, commodity, much healthier your food uh, to eat. Uh, but the evidence is very strong that hermetic storage is a, is a safe solution uh, for storing grain. It's gonna protect uh, the farmer's hard work. It's gonna give them not only a better quality food, but a higher uh, market return if, they, if and when they need to sell it. Uh, just all around, it's, it's, a, it's a better solution than using traditional forms of storage which lead to significant food loss uh, and often uh, involve toxic chemicals that are harmful uh, to families. And important to remember that, you know, that, that Pakistan um, is the fifth largest country uh, in the world by population. They have tremendous potential uh, on the agricultural uh, side. And uh, I think that you know, as new technologies and new innovations are introduced and as, you know, as we partner uh, with leaders in the communities uh, of Pakistan, uh, we can help support uh, a transformation uh, in, in the agricultural sector. And that's a transformation towards uh, healthier food uh, and healthier lives. There's nothing more important uh, than the health uh, and well-being of the families uh, in your community and in your country. Uh, and the, one of the best ways that we can protect uh, their uh, livelihood, protect their welfare, is to ensure that they have uh, safe and nutritious food. And with hermetic storage, we have a technology that allows farmers, that allows communities 
to safely store their grain, their legumes, uh, in a way that means that they do not have to use toxic chemicals and they can be confident that what they're eating and what their kids are eating is safe, healthy, and nutritious. We need to move um, as, uh, as a people. Uh, we need to move as a planet to sustainable forms uh, of farming and sustainable forms uh, of, of storing our crops. And we're gonna have to move away from continued reliance on aluminum phosphide and other chemicals uh, to, uh, to reduce infestation. We have a natural, organic way to safely store grain that will support communities' health, that will support communities' growth, and it drives incomes. Uh, and if we can help support food security, if we can help support greater incomes, then we create community wealth. And community wealth uh, leads to better outcomes for all, whether it's on the educational side or the healthcare side or uh, the food nutrition side. So, um, Hermetic storage is one small part of the equation in terms of improving incomes and livelihood, but it's a significant part, right? It's a significant solution around storing, safely storing um, a harvest at the, at the end of uh, at the end of the harvest. Uh, so, my message is to community leaders to to please invest in agricultural development. Please invest in in the right tools uh, and inputs for your farmers and for their communities. Uh, because working together, we can help improve the lives of, of millions, millions, if not billions of people around the world.